It was the perfect night for a riot in Greenwich Village. Hot, muggy. Like most nights, the queer kids who'd been kicked out of their homes ended up on Christopher Street. One of those kids was named Marsha P. Johnson, and today was her birthday. The P in Marsha's name stood for Pay It No Mind. She and her best friend Sylvia Rivera were survivors of the streets. They were a part of a thrown away community of drag queens, sex workers, and trans folks, the people that fell between the cracks of the gay and straight worlds. All easy targets for police harassment until one day when they finally found their power. When the police swooped in on the Stonewall Inn in the summer of 69 to make their nightly arrests, the street kids gathered outside to taunt them. Folks began resisting and the crowd caught fire. They pelted the cops with bottles and bricks, kicking off a night of riots. For the next three days, thousands participated in protests and rallies across the city that ushered in a new era for queer rights. As Sylvia Rivera put it, you get tired of being just pushed around. Energized by the Stonewall riots, she and Marsha joined the Gay Liberation Front and the Gay Activist Alliance. But they quickly learned even the most radical gay activists weren't interested in the struggles of trans and gender non-conforming people. So they started their own organization, STAR, the Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries. The pamphlet they wrote said, we're tired of running. We intend to fight for our rights until we get them. Marsha and Sylvia found a rundown building at 213 East 2nd Street. They named it Star House and pooled their meager incomes to support their family. People who were getting out of jail, queer kids with no place left to go, and newcomers to the scene who needed to be taught about street survival. By 1973, the gay liberation movement was at its peak. On Christopher Street Liberation Day, thousands of queers took to the streets to demand their rights. The rally was supposed to honor those who fought at Stonewall, but not everyone was welcome, even those who had been there. Sylvia was scheduled to speak, but some leaders thought her presence would be disruptive. She literally had to fight her way onto the stage. When she finally got the mic, Sylvia offered a devastating read of the movement's failure to support poor trans women of color. I believe in us getting our rights, or else I would not be out there fighting for our rights. You all tell me to go and hide my tail between my legs. I will not prolong or put up with this shit. I have been beaten. I have had my nose broken. I have been thrown in jail. I have lost my job. I have lost my apartment for gay liberation. And you all treat me this way? The people that are trying to do something for all of us and not men and women that belong to a white middle class, white club, and that's what you all belong to. Revolution now! Sylvia became disillusioned with politics and left the city. But when the new transgender movement started in the early 90s, she came back strong. She revived Star House, and organized rallies and actions. She spoke internationally and called out mainstream activists who left trans people, people of color, and poor folks in the dust. Sylvia died from cancer in 2002. She fought for trans rights from her hospital bed up until the very end. Marcia stayed in New York. When the AIDS crisis hit in the 80s, she grew outraged over the government's indifference to the mounting gay death toll. She joined ACT UP, an in-your-face AIDS activist group that carried on the militant style of STAR and early gay liberation. She was later killed in what many think was a hate crime. In 2012, the New York Police Department reopened their investigation into her death. Sylvia and Marcia leave a legacy of courage, confrontation, and radical determination to fight for the freedom of all people. They are the fierce mothers of our revolution, and for many years, their stories have gone untold. They were just two of the many trans pioneers who have lived, loved, and died in this country. We've been around.